jam. Mm-hmm. Oh, jam. Mm-hmm. Woo, woo, woo. What a game, what a game, what a game. I was over here stressed. I was over here stressed. Stressed all the way out. The commander do not make it easy. I don't know what was going on with the offense today. The defense came to play, but the offense was nerve-wracking. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely nerve-wracking. But what a finish. Jam. Mm -hmm. Oh, jam. Mm -hmm. One more time. Jam. Mm -hmm. Oh, jam. This was me. I think we have a team. I think we officially have a team in the nation's capital. Because things like that don't happen to trash teams. This wouldn't have happened last year. This wouldn't have happened two years ago. This wouldn't have happened under the previous ownership. This type, These type of things only happen to good teams. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than it is to be good. What a win by the Washington Commanders. Beating the Chicago Bears 18 to 15 on a last second Hail Mary from Jaden Daniels to Noah Brown. The ball was tipped. I believe it was Stevenson, if I'm not mistaken, that tipped it up. And Noah Brown was in the end zone by himself. What a game. I am absolutely ecstatic. Um, I circled this on my calendar. This was the number one versus the number two overall picks in the 2024 NFL draft. Um, this game was flexed by CBS to, to be in that 425 uh, window. And we see why. It wasn't, it wasn't living up to the hype for probably about three quarters. But that last quarter, that last quarter really, really showed out. Absolutely showed out. Um, Caleb Williams and the offense kind of woke up and the Bears offense woke up in the second half. Um, the score was nine to nothing at halftime. Um, the commanders were pitching a shutout, but uh, DeAndre Swift, I believe, scored their first. Yeah, their first touchdown. Um, defense got gashed for 56 yards and it then it was 12 to seven. After that, the offense just stalled. The offense just stalled. And it was concerning, absolutely concerning, because the defense was on the field for a very um, for a very long time. And eventually, defenses are going to give up a play here and there. The offense did not the, – the commander's offense did not look like the offense it um, from early this year where they were averaging 30 points, 31 points, something like that. Um, so it was weird. Uh, Jane Daniels did look a little bit different. I think we could blame that on the rib injury. Um, even though I think they managed his pain really well, but you could tell he it looked a little bit different. Um, but they weathered a storm. Jaden Daniels is absolutely a competitor. Um, I think everybody on this team is a competitor, everybody believes, everybody plays for one another, and Oh, man, I tell you, it feels good to be a Commanders fan right now. I thought I would never say that. Never say that. Um, but it feels good. It feels absolutely good. Um, this was a homecoming that was spoiled um, for Caleb Williams, who is from the, D the D.C. area, went to Gonzaga High School. Um, we had to spoil this homecoming for him, unfortunately. Sorry, but um, Jaden Daniels is here. And the matchup between the first two overall picks does indeed go to the second overall pick, Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders. Um, defense looks like 
it's finally catching its footing, which I knew it would at some point under Dan Quinn. But um, that's just what happens. Sometimes week to week, we have the offense that's on fire and the defense is lacking. This particular week, the defense was on fire and the offense was lacking. But um, still grinding it out and finding a way to win is what's important. Um, the commanders, oh, I didn't change the uh, banner down here. They are actually six and two right now going into our next game uh, against the New York Giants, which is a, a divisional matchup. Um, so I feel good going to that game. Um, we need just everybody to get healthy. Um, we had a couple injuries on the offensive line. Uh, so Cornelius Lucas going to the uh, locker room. And uh, Scott came in at left tackle. Andrew Wiley left uh, briefly in the game, but he he did return. Um, so I'm just hoping those guys get healthy because the offensive line absolutely has to be healthy for this team to continue um, to push forward and move forward. Um, shout out to the defense again. Um, giving up uh, 15 points to... Kayla Williams, Romo Dunze, uh, DJ Moore, and Keenan Allen, who are no scrubs by no means. And our secondary was left a lot to be desired in previous games, but they played really well um, in this matchup. Frank Louvu was everywhere. Um, the defensive line played really well, so I'm absolutely proud uh, of this team. And how they played and what a finish, man. Cause I tell you, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Um, they pretty much had control of the game for three, for pretty much three quarters. And they just, just gave it up at the end. But in the very end, Jaden Daniels, first of all, what an arm, what an absolute cannon of an arm on him just to get it down there. He didn't even step up into the pocket or anything. He just launched it. Um, and getting it down there to even give them a chance to for the ball to bounce our way, which again, things like that just don't happen to teams who are not good. Teams who are the bottom tiers, those those type of bounces don't typically go their way. In the past, those bounces have not gone our way. So for that bounce to have gone our way means we are going in the right direction. Um uh as a team organization offense defense all all together um shout out to dan quinn uh shout out to cliff kingsbury shout out to joe witt jr um i saw joe i saw uh, josh harris was on the field um to see that so that was an amazing field for our, our owner to be on the sidelines when it happened so it's great ending great ending i was stressed the whole second half but absolutely great ending to um to a nail biter and um again the matchup between the first and second picks goes to number two um in this case so bears shout out to uh shout out to all the bears fans that was talking trash i'm sure y'all was surprised to see Jaden daniels out there but that happened that absolutely happened and plus we owed y'all from last year we absolutely owe job from last year when uh dj moore had a career day against us last year so um which was on that very field so we owe job that and i think we have a leg up in the the best rookie um thus far in jane Daniels, who i think is a bona fide fate is the bona fide favorite to win rookie of the year so Shout out to Commanders fans out there. It's been a long time. I think we deserve it. Great home win. I can't imagine what it's like out there. Um, and Jaden Daniels, even in his his interview after the game, just as cool, calm, collected. Everybody going crazy. Um, I'm sure all the all the fans around <laughs> around the stadium and everywhere is going absolutely crazy right now. And he's just as calm as the other side, and that's good. That's absolutely good. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Stay even kill right in the middle. And Larry Biles go crazy like me and other fans. Um, so, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, 
the Chicago Bears, I believe, fall to four and three, and the Washington Commanders improve to six and two. Um, that's it for for me, Crevante Hurd, the voice of reason, the Commandalorian. Um, and check out the Flex Zone Monday nights, 10 p.m., 10 30, somewhere in that time frame, um, where we'll talk with the guys and I'm going to talk more about this um, Monday evenings. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Peace. Go, Commanders. <laughs>